Well, creative ideas never come out of nothing. Uh, they come out of ideas that are already in the mind, uh, or in the case of AI, AI systems, in the program. Um, and they don't come by magic either. I think there are three basic ways in which they uh, come. Um, one of which is putting unfamiliar ideas into unfamiliar combinations, and that's the one that people usually talk about. Um, the second way is starting out with a style of thinking, whether it's in uh, musical composition or painting or chemistry, whatever it is, which is already valued and accepted uh, by the community, and coming up with new structures within that uh, accepted style, uh, exploring the style, if you like. And then the third way is transforming the style, an accepted style, in some way, so that new structures, which couldn't have arisen before, now arise. Um, and all of those three sorts of creativity uh, can be done by computers. Uh, even the last one, which perhaps sounds impossible, but it, using evolutionary programming, which can change its own rules. That can be done too. The problem with using computers for creativity is they don't have our sense of relevance. So for example, it's very easy for them to put familiar ideas into novel combinations, very, very simple. But realizing which ones are interesting and which ones are relevant is another matter. Uh, and in general, that can't be done well. Um, because they don't have our world knowledge, they don't have our understanding of language, and above all, they don't have our sense of, of general human relevance.